so fuck <laughs> so this is a harry potter book written by an ai it's a chapter i guess oh it's a chapter of a harry potter book written by an ai <laughs> that I, honestly i think it's the greatest thing i've ever seen so the spellbinding national bestseller harry potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash as you can see here's harry potter in this room there's the portrait i, of a large I love pile that they've done art for this <laughs> yeah i don't know if this was art done for this or they've taken other harry potter art and then just like what does that look like oh, it looks like a big pile of ash that'll do and just stuck that on there like here's the like, title it might be photoshopped in some way I don't, I, I don't think they've gone out and like done a full illustration for this but they maybe they did <laughs> Maybe they did. <laughs> I still think that they just found like a random Harry Potter illustration online from somewhere and they're like, what What, what does this image look like? It could be Ugh, stupid. That's what it could be. Let's make it stupid. So they've done that. And it's beautiful. As you can see at the bottom there, there's Botnik, which is, uh, there's a link to it in the description, uh, botnik.org. And they have a host of different shit <laughs> that's been written by AI. Um, and... I think I'll, we'll we'll do a little series of this. We'll do a few different things that we'll read that were generated by AI. Things like reviews and. I wonder if this is also the bot that does the um, fake TV ads. It could be. Um, I'll have to see. I, I've seen some that are like interviews with like Neil deGrasse Tyson and stuff like that that are done by this AI <laughs> and shit like that. So I have those saved and ready to go. So, Harry Potter and the Portrait of What Looked Like a Large Pile of Ash. Would you like to read any of the lines of any of the characters in particular? Um, I, I, up to you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read whatever and then you can jump in whenever you want. <laughs> so, chapter 13, The Handsome One. <laughs> Who is the handsome one? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so this looks like, that actually looks like art from like a Harry Potter book, but like... So you got Harry, Hermione, and then Fat Ron, for whatever reason, who's in high heels. I I hadn't really thought about that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. I was thinking that looks like a dwarf, but there's yeah. no... There's no dwarfs in Harry Potter that I remember. For the canon for this story now, in my mind, Ron is fat and wears high heels. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 13, The Handsome One. This is about five pages long. The castle ground snarled with a wave of magically magnified wind. The sky outside was a great black ceiling which was full of blood. Jesus. That's concerning. Yeah. The only sounds drifting from Hagrid's hut were the disdainful shrieks from his own furniture. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Sitting down in those chairs being a half giant like... <laughs> <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> Please, stop. Me spine. <laughs> Oh, right, they're British. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Magic. It was something that Harry Potter thought was very good. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. It's, it's fucking... It's, it's, this was 271 pages long at this point. Oh my god. I wonder if I can find the rest of this somewhere. If there even is a rest it of might, this. It might just be like... Uh... It might just be like photoshopped yeah, to, be, like to look like an actual book. But that's like, really funny that that's the number they've gone with. That's incredible. <laughs> Leathery sheets of rain lashed at Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds toward the castle. So, so is he dead? I don't. Or is it just like. <laughs> he has a ghost. <laughs> wind, wind attacks the ghost within him. Like his spirit is oh, he, attacked by wind. Oh, he owns a ghost. And rain. Sheets, leathery sheets of rain. Oh. <laughs> mm. That's an awful description. I don't like it. <laughs> oh. Ron was standing there doing some kind of frenzied tap dance. Excellent. <laughs> In his high heels. In his high heels. <laughs> while grossly overweight. He saw Harry and immediately began to eat Hermione's family. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did we ever meet her family in the books? And in the movies? I don't remember. I... 
I, I don't I did not read all of the books I read like half of them mm. I don't remember her, uh, Hermione's family being brought up a lot I think they show up in the movies like really briefly really? kind of like in the background huh I hadn't even thought about that I, I wasn't looking for them I, I remember distinctly when I was reading like the books there was like Where's her family and all this? They mentioned in like book number two they that they're like muggle them, and they show up in the movies like in the background here and there. Uh, she 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 talks about them like a little bit here and there. She mentions their dentists. Um, oh, yeah. I guess I'm not caught up on the Harry Potter canon. <laughs> I'm not qualified to be reading this <laughs> work of art. <laughs> <laughs> this literary <laughs> perfection. <laughs> Everyone, can... everyone knows Muggle so yummy. Absolutely. Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. <laughs> I, I feel like the fandom will agree with this. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Does he have a shirt that is just has him on it? Is it like a picture of his face sewn into it? Or does it just have the big R? I remember that being He has thing. that, yeah. Yeah. Fucking stupid. <laughs> If you two can't clump happily, I'm going to get aggressive, confess the reasonable <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> My good lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> if you two can't clump happily. <laughs> me went <when> baking. <laughs> Trying to like mix the, the mixture together. You can't clump happily. I'm going to get aggressive. (laughs) Honestly, mood. The biggest mood. Next page. What about Ron magic? Offered Ron. To Harry, Ron was a loud, slow, and soft bird. (laughs) Harry did not like to think about birds. (laughs) (laughs) This is incredible. Oh my god. Harry did not like to think about birds. Ron upset him deeply. (laughs) With his mere presence. What about Ron Magic? What did birds have as UCM? Actually. Death Eaters are on top of the castle, Ron bleated, quivering. <laughs> <laughs> like a bird. Ron was going to be spiders. <laughs> he just was. He wasn't proud of that, but it was going to be hard not to have... Uh, hard to not have spiders all over his body after all is said and done. That's very concerning. I don't, I don't, this is getting very quickly nightmarish. This is in, like, real, like, night terror, like, zone. <laughs> Look, like, nightmare appears. I mean, you have, like, fucking the night sky, which is blood, and you have leathery sheets of rain attacking Harry's ghost within him, and then Ron is a bird. But also his spiders. And he eats Hermione's family. <laughs> Ron is just, I'm thinking Ron in this story is, like, this evil, awful creature. <laughs> This fucking abomination that's just kind of hanging with them is like, I'm a student too. <laughs> I'm ginger. Horrible abomination. Gingers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Um, look, said Hermione. Obviously, there are loads of Death Eaters in the castle. Let's listen in on their meetings. <laughs> the three complete friends zapped onto the landing outside the door to the castle roof. They almost legged it. But witches are not climbing. That's understandable. Fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I resonate with that. Mm-hmm. Ron looked at the doorknob and then he looked at Hermione with searing pain. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that as well. I think it's closed, he noticed. Locked, said Mr. Staircase. Who's what? Mr. Staircase? The shabby robed ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the fat man that's following them? Is that Mr. Staircase? Maybe. Maybe they couldn't draw Ron because they couldn't <laughs> get a proper visual idea of what he's supposed to look like from his descriptions here. He's just this entity. They look... <laughs> Lock, said Mr. St- Staircase, the shabby robed ghost. They looked at the door, screaming about how closed it was, and then asking it to be replaced with a small orb. The password was beef women, Hermione cried. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know who said that password. <laughs> <laughs> Brief women. <laughs> Shout out to our friend Lacey. <laughs> Absolutely. Harry, Ron, and Hermione quietly stood behind a circle of Death Eaters who looked bad. No shit. Man. 
It's like if mag- writing was this easy, I swear <laughs> to God, just like this is a guy who looks like a bad guy. Like, man, my chapters would be like three pages long <laughs> instead of like twenty. Fucking. Oh, hell. what do you mean, like magic KKK members look bad? <laughs> yeah, who would have guessed? Who would have thought? I think it's okay if you like me," said one Death Eater. All right. Thank you very much, replied the other. The first Death Eater confidently leaned forward to plant a kiss on his cheek. Oh, well done, <laughs> said the second that, as his friend stepped back again. All the other Death Eaters clapped politely. <laughs> then they all took a few minutes to go over the plan to get rid of Harry's magic. <laughs> <laughs> they seem like much more reasonable than the apparently reasonable Hermione. <laughs> they seem really reasonable. Holy shit. How many pages have we been? We've been through two pages. This is incredible. We don't even... We're like maybe halfway down. It's a roller coaster. Harry could tell that Voldemort was standing right behind him. He felt a great overreaction. Oh no. Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them into the fire. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's okay. That is a great overreaction. He was absolutely correct. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Voldemort raised his eyebrows at Harry, who could not see anything at the moment, <laughs> quite understandably. I'm starting to think maybe Hermione is the very reasonable one within the group. Considered. After all. Yeah, all things considered. Voldemort, you're a very bad and mean wizard, Harry mm. savagely said. Savage. <laughs> oh, oh. Totally savage. Oh. Hermione nodded encouragingly. (laughs) She agrees. Yes. The tall Death Eater was wearing a shirt that said, Hermione has forgotten how to dance, so Hermione dipped his face in mud. (laughs) I'd buy that shirt. Sounds reasonable. (laughs) Yeah, that sounds very reasonable. Very reasonable action. These guys just sound like really nice, like the Death Eaters, just like these really nice, like, dorks who, like, hang out in their little group, and then these guys come up and just, like, bully the shit out of them and kill them all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hermione has forgotten how to dance. A tragedy in three parts. Hermione dipped his face in mud, though. That's... That's a thing. Apparently there's mud there. Ron threw a wand at Voldemort and everyone applauded. Hmm. R slash that happened. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man, those really do always end up with everyone applauding. Everybody on the bus clapped. Sure they did. Yeah. Ron smiled. Ron reached for his wand slowly. Apparently he has a second one. (laughs) I mean, yeah. Continuity and consistency. He's like, (laughs) yeah. Slowly reaches for his wand, smiling. Very evil. Ron's the handsome one, muttered Harry, as he reluctantly reached for his... Okay, this, this is taking a turn. I mean, he is now. <laughs> Harry has no fucking eyes. He ripped him out of his face. Voldemort doesn't have a nose. Ron is arguably the most complete being. <laughs> they cast a spell or two, and jets of green light shot out of the Death Eater's heads. Ron flinched. I mean, if shots of green light like fired from someone's head, I would also flinch. Understandable. Not so handsome now, thought Harry, as he dipped Hermione in hot sauce. What the fuck? I know, they're ready to eat her now. The Death Eaters were dead now, and Harry was hungrier than he had ever been. (laughs) And then we have a time skip. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I too get really hungry when I murder people. And then dip my friend in hot sauce. I'm with you there. Every time. Jesus Christ. (laughs) And dips her in hot sauce. Not so handsome now. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. The great hall was filled with incredible moaning chandeliers. Ew. And the large librarian who had decorated the sinks with books about masonry. That's always really specific. That is very specific. Maybe they're like fucking stone. Some good shit. I'm mostly concerned by the moaning chandeliers. Cause... Yeah. Well, maybe, like, if they're, like, rocking with, like, a breeze, they kind of, like, groan with, like, the metal. That's the best I can come up with. Otherwise, it's really disturbing. Mountains of mice exploded. <laughs> okay. That's a complete sentence. 
<laughs> Holy fuck. <clears throat> I award that one yike. That is one yike. Several long pumpkins fell out of McGonagall. <laughs> oh, shit. Dumbledore's hair scooted next to Hermione as Dumbledore arrived at school. Just his fucking luscious locks like, hey, how's it going? Hmm. I'm Dumbledore's hair. Fuck. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> fucking hell. This is incredible. The pig of... Oh, okay. The pig of Hufflepuff pulsed like a large bullfrog. Oh. Hufflepuff oh. would have a pig. And it would pulse. <laughs> oh. Dumbledore smiled at it and placed his hand on its head. You are Hagrid now. <laughs> what happened to the original Hagrid? <laughs> I'm not sure. That was a time skip. <laughs> <laughs> well, good on them for finding a replacement. Honestly, yeah. Maybe he died of natural causes. We don't know. Maybe he just retired. He's had enough of this magic shit. It's a hard life living near Harry, the reasonable Hermione, and monstrosity Ron. <laughs> he could be eaten at any moment. Is Ron spiders yet? Maybe he's been spiders all along. He just was. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only people who matter. He's never going to get rid of us, Harry, Hermione, and Ron said in chorus. <laughs> Very oh, meta. D and D players. D and D players. <laughs> yep. That is a D and D party if I've ever seen one. The floor of the car- castle seemed like a large pile of magic. Understandable. Mm. The Dursleys had never been to the castle, and they were not about to come there. <laughs> in Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I An important saying... point to make, I assume. <laughs> For the continuity yeah, of the story. You no, know, just, just, just in case you were wondering, um, d- they're not going to show up. Yep, that's, yeah. In case you'd forgotten about them, we probably mentioned them at the start of the book. I don't know. We didn't get to read the beginning. Maybe they were mentioned there, as they are in every other Harry Potter book. But then never again. <coughs> we just want to remind you of that. <laughs> never again. Harry looked around and then fell down a spiral staircase for the rest of the summer. <laughs> That's a that's a sizable mood. I'm Harry Potter, he began yelling, I assume as he's falling down the stairs forever. The dark arts better be worried, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> Oh boy. (laughs) Dark arts better be worried. Oh boy. Ah, that's the accent's important. Yeah, because they're British, eh? And that's that's just it. That was, uh, I think, yeah, four and a half pages of Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash (laughs) written by an AI. I buy it. I would absolutely buy this. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my... I wish this was like a full proper book. Like if, if they released like an AI written full book of this shit, I would buy that in a heartbeat. I have no idea how long the first few chapters are. If this was five pages long and it's at 271, but it's chapter 13. The, <laughs> the mismatch in this is deeply disconcerting. Absolutely incredible. This is a true literary work of art. I rate it 9 out of 10. Um, The only issue I have is that they should delve deeper into why the Death Eaters are bad. They need to be more descriptive (laughs) on that. sounded like really nice people. As for the rest of it, this is a true literary work of art. I can't fault it in any way. (laughs) Beef women. (laughs) Uh Mr. Staircase, the shabby robed ghost. I, I need to. Is, is Mr. Staircase an actual character? Where no. <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> Mr. Staircase. What if there is? If there is, I'll be fucking so surprised. <laughs> I'm googling this. Mr. Staircase. The shabby robed. Is this a Twitter? There is no Mr. Staircase. <laughs> 
So the way that this was created was that Botnik, like the, the Botnik Studios, fed all of the seven original Harry Potter novels to a text predicting keyboard, and just followed its lunatic suggestions all the way through. Following that, that was it. That's how it fucking. Only chapter thirteen of the book, the handsome one, actually exists so far. Please make more. <laughs> oh, I want more of it. So anyway, um, that was Harry Potter and what looked like a portrait of a large pile of ash or something like that. What was it? Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. It almost feels like it's taking it in the piece at the names because they're often very long. Yeah, and like <laughs> contrived and <laughs> annoying. <laughs> It's it's perfection is what it is. It really is. And it's it's very self aware as well. And I love that. I we're gonna be reading more of this type of shit, so fucking like, comment, subscribe. If you have other ones shit like this that you want us to read and react to, please for the love of God, comment them because this is incredible. <laughs> Anything like this in the slightest. Uh again if you wanna find access to this stuff. Look in the description, I'll have a link to Botnik itself and specifically to this. Um, yeah, just in case you want to say with your own eyes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, I guess, and enjoying this insanity that we've all sat through together. <laughs> <laughs> Beef women. <laughs>